Mount Cook Airline is a wholly owned subsidiary of Air New Zealand. We're part of the Air New Zealand group. Uh, we fly 11 ATR 500s, uh, soon to be one more um, ATR 72 600 um, to destinations across New Zealand entirely. Mount Cook has been flying um, ATRs since the mid 90s, so we started with some 200s. Um, we now have a fleet of 11 500s um, and soon it will grow. Um, we've had a very long relationship with ATR. We're probably not one of the biggest um, fleets in the world, but we like to think we have a very special relationship with ATR. We run a mixed fleet. We have 19 seaters um, all the way through to um, wide body aircraft. Um, having a mix of fleets allows us to increase and decrease um, the aircraft and the capacity for that particular marketplace. Um, so ATR, the um, 72 is the biggest of our turboprop regional in the fleet um, and we use it when we're in growth so when we want to increase capacity we swap out um, a smaller turboprop for the ATR um, and when we want to decrease capacity then we use the ATR to take place of some of the jet flying so um, it's the biggest of our turboprop and we use it to ma manage and manipulate our capacity. We have very good feedback from our passengers. Um, they uh, like being part of the um, ATR journey. For us, it's the biggest turboprop, so they like getting on an aircraft that feels um, of good size to them. Um, and certainly they tell us it's very comfortable. Our typical length of sector is just over an hour, and that's a long time to be sitting on a plane, but um, they seem to enjoy it. If they're our um, frequent flyers, so if they're travellers that travel with us a lot, um, then they know well in advance whether they're hopping on an ATR or whether they're hopping on um, one of our other um, types of aircraft and they certainly know which aircraft they're getting on and they, they can pick from the outside whether it's an ATR or whether it's not an ATR. I think they're going to be really impressed with the 600. The interior um, that we've chosen is very fresh, it's very light, the seats are new, um, the colour scheme is the same as our 777, um, so it will feel like if you hop on a turboprop after a jet that it's the same kind of colour palette. Um, so I think they're going to be really surprised and I'm quite enchanted by it. The seats are really comfortable, the, um, the carpet looks fantastic, the overhead lockers will have more capacity, so I think they're going to enjoy it. We use our turboprops to grow our regional um, ports. We have uh, 26 ports in New Zealand um, and a very small population. We only have 4 million across a country that's the same size as England um, and a, not a well-developed rail and road network, which means that the turboprops um, are the backbone of how people get around in our country. Uh, and for us, we use the turboprops to service very small places, so um, cities that only have 50,000 people, uh, and they rely on the service to both bring tourists and um, business travellers in and out, and also we use it to um, move cargo and freight. Um, so uh, for us, it's really the lifeblood of, of what those small centres do on a daily basis. So we've got two types of routes. We um, have a route that we're going to move the jet off, so that route will become an ATR um, turboprop route. Uh, and we also have a couple of destinations where we need to increase capacity. Uh, two of those are new destinations where we haven't flown the ATR to before. Uh, and we'll be increasing the number of flights we do to some of our current destinations so that we're putting more seats into the marketplace. Some of them are very new routes, so um, those uh, towns are quite excited about getting a new aircraft um, with a few more seats, and also um, some of them we will be moving some of the jets off and putting some more ATRs on, so it's a bit of a mix for us of both. The livery is uh, about the All Blacks, but it's more about New Zealand. So New Zealand has a um, special connection to the silver fern, uh, and that's a um, plant, and when you turn over the back of the leaf, um, it's silver. And so we have a special connection or a special feeling for the silver fern. So if you look at our aircraft, it has this beautiful depiction of the silver fern that wraps around the fuselage. Um, black is a colour for us that um, signifies New Zealand. It's um, about the All Blacks. It's also about a number of other sports teams that call themselves black and dress in black as well. Um, so so there's a bit of a unique connection for us with black and also with this beautiful silver fern that wraps around the fuselage, so um, it is quite magnificent. The green credentials respond for two reasons. One, because it means that, that we're um, creating less ozone in, ozone in the environment, but it also means that you cut down on your fuel bill. So you, you win both on the financial side and on the um, green side. So for us, it's a good environmental choice and it's a good financial choice. I've got two words for ATR. Um, one would be um, we're looking forward to a 90-seater. Uh, and my second one would be that we're looking forward to um, having RMPAR, so we're quite keen on having some technically really interesting things happen.